Well, I am back in my happy place. And it feels so good to be back. A year has come and gone already. Not a day goes by that I don't think of this place. The hours seem to drag on as I make my way back to this beautiful, vast, treeless expanse where bears dot the landscape. A windswept land of wild blueberries and fireweed. Thinking about the call of the goal and the ptarmigan always makes me smile to myself. This is a place I fell in love with years ago and I'm counting down the hours until I'm back with the bears and other magnificent wildlife that call this beautiful place home. Here we are, home sweet home. And just feel the wind, oh my goodness. I have missed this so much. It's quite windy right now, but uh, honestly, it's not nearly as bad as it usually is. But oh, I'm just so happy to be here. Just look at it. Oh, it's so pretty, let me show you. In case you didn't see last year's video, uh, or videos, Go watch those. Um, but uh, yeah, let me show you the surrounding. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna head out and uh, see if I can photograph some bears. I got here and it, like I say, it was quite windy. So I uh, yeah, got my tent set up real quick, my bear fence, and uh, all my, my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad, all that stuff, just to get it lofting so it'll be nice and warm for me tonight. And I'm filtering some water right now, uh, just because I haven't eaten or drinking a whole lot in the last 24 hours, because I was on those planes at the airport. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy to be here but I wanna go out and get some bears. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and see what I can find. I saw two just across from this little lake from me uh, not too long ago. So I'm gonna go see if I can find them and let's see what I can get.
cannot even describe how excited I am to eat right now. <laughs> I'm so hungry. So I got everything set up, got my water filtered, and uh, I was just so excited to go find some bears that I went out. I found a few, it was a pretty quiet evening. And uh, they were just kind of sitting by the river. The fish are late this year. The salmon runs a little bit late. So the bears are really just waiting right now for the majority of the fish to get here. So the bears were just sitting there. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was pretty quiet. I was out for a few hours, uh, just going up and down the river. Came out onto the tundra a little bit, just looking for some of the bears. And they're just napping and waiting. A lot of times too, when it's windy like this, uh, they're not very active because they rely so heavily on their sense of smell. A lot of the bears will uh, hide when it's windy like this because they can't. Uh, they can't always smell what's going on around them because the wind's so strong. But yeah, anyways, I went out for a few hours and uh, came back to camp, got some dinner cooked up because it has been almost 30 hours now since I've eaten and I am starving. So I got a, it's like a lentil, bean, tomato, rice dish that I made and dehydrated. And man, I'm so excited. Oh, and then for dessert, I've got a apple, blueberry, raspberry cobbler that I made the other day and uh, put that together and dehydrated. So I'm so excited for this meal. Oh. I needed this in my life right now. So good. Maybe it just tastes better because it's, I'm so hungry and I'm in such a beautiful place. making my own uh, meals and then dehydrating them because I know what's in them. I know all the ingredients and the uh, all the love that goes into them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really tired right now. Um, I don't know if I went over how I got here yet. I, I don't even remember honestly. Caught a red eye flight last night to get here. And I had, let's see, I had two stops and then an eight hour layover. And then I flew into the airport, got off that plane, went and got on the float plane. And then the pilot came out here and dropped me off. And I won't see him again for, uh, it's about two weeks that I'll be out of here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be good. But yeah, because of that red eye flight and that long layover at the airport, I mean, I got a little bit of sleep at the airport, but I have a really hard time sleeping in scenarios or places like that. So last night I only got a couple of hours of sleep, so if I seem a little loopy, that's why. Oh, I better eat this quick. If bears start to smell this thing, they're all gonna invite themselves over for dinner tonight. And I don't feel like sharing. go out again after dinner 
see what I can find. It's still pretty windy, so I don't know if I'll see much, but I've still got a couple of hours of light. It's it's going on nine o'clock right now, but uh, yeah, I've got about two hours of usable light. And then, uh, well, it's pretty overcast, so maybe like an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half. But uh, yeah, go see what I can find after dinner. I might just call it an early night because I'm so tired, I don't know. We'll see. slept so incredibly well last night, even with this wind. It was pretty windy all night and uh, even got a little bit of rain, but man, I was so tired. It was awesome. I did go out last night after I ate. Um, I was in camp when off in the distance I saw a female bear with two little cubs. So I went out and spent some time with them. They were just bedding down when I got to them. And uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of action there, but it was still fun. Oh, man. Um, it was just fun to see them and spend a little bit of time with them. Um, but yeah, now it's morning. And I'm gonna get some breakfast and go out and see what I can find today. I talked a little bit last year about this wind. It's pretty much always windy like this out here. Uh, and the first year I was out here, it, I, I didn't really like it until the last few days. I just learned to love it. But uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's fun. And uh, just a great, great place to be. I'm so happy to be back. Let's get some breakfast though and go find some, some bears.
Well, it's about 11.15 or so at night and uh, it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna head to bed. I just got back to camp. I was gonna make dinner because I'm really hungry. But I think I'm more tired than I am hungry, so I might just go to bed and get a double breakfast in the morning. But you know what? That's about enough of me and my appetite. So um, today was good. It was. It's been a little bit slower. The uh, fish are late in getting here this year. So there really hasn't been a whole lot of activity with fishing. So I headed out into the tundra today just because I really wasn't seeing anything down by the river. Uh, but I saw a number of bears on the tundra just kind of napping and a lot of, you know, playing, the cubs playing, some of the sub-adults playing. And when the fish aren't here, you know, they're not occupied with all this fishing and eating and everything so the bears are just bored more than anything um, when the the fish are late and coming like this so uh, yeah I just spent some time with those bears out on the tundra it's been windy all day uh, not like crazy wind like I've had out here in the past but just constant wind and it's pretty cold wind um, I've got my funny hat on here and uh, yeah it's just yeah, I'm kind of chilled to the bone right now so I'm just gonna hop in my sleeping bag and go to sleep and uh, we'll uh, start again tomorrow morning beautiful night though I love it out here you know the wind like I say it, it's constant but I I've learned to love it over the years and it's one of the reasons that this place is just so special to me is because of the wind, as weird as that sounds. Anyways, I'm gonna get all warm, go to bed, and uh, listen to the wind and the water and the gulls and bears running around. It's just awesome. I love being out here. Okay, good night, you guys. Good morning. Look. How glorious. Just look at this sky. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Still got this wind. But man, these colors. So pretty. I'm going to, uh, get some breakfast and let's go find some bears. Oh man, I can't get enough of these colors.
beautiful evening. Had a pretty, pretty fun day. It, it was a little bit slower. This trip has been quite a bit slower. Uh, I've been here for two and a half days already. That's crazy. Time, it just goes so fast. Even though the days are so long here, they just go by so fast. Um, yeah, it's just after 10 right now, about 10.15. The sun's starting to set a little bit. It's still gonna be a while before it's down. It'll be another 45 minutes or so before it's down. And then even then, sunsets out here seem to last forever, I love it. It was almost midnight last night and it was finally, uh, you know, getting dark enough where I really couldn't, couldn't see without really squinting or whatever but um, yeah it's been a little bit slower trip so far everything just seems a little late this year the fish are starting to get here but uh, even though they're starting to get here the bears they just they're not really interested in fishing I've noticed they're more interested in just pulling the dead or spawned out fish out of the water and, uh, you know, the blueberries that I usually pick to supplement my meals and that the bears rely on heavily, they're not even close to being ripe yet. The crowberries, same thing. Cloudberries, same thing. And uh, even the ptarmigan. Usually I run into a lot of uh, ptarmigan with their young, and the young are usually quite big at this point of the year. Um, I saw some yesterday, they were just teeny still, teeny little things, but uh, yeah, everything just seems to be kind of late this year, and uh, with the constant wind, and it's, it's a pretty chilly wind too, but uh, yeah, things just aren't moving around a whole lot, so it was a pretty slow day today, uh, it's been a slow trip so far, but it's still been fun, you know, the bears are awesome out here. I love seeing the tarm again, the occasional wolf, you know, caribou I've spotted before. I still haven't gotten any pictures of them, but uh, you know, there's so much awesome wildlife out here, but that's not the only reason I come out here. I love being out here for just the peace and the solitude and just being able to immerse myself in this beautiful landscape. I love it out here. This is one of my favorite, favorite places. That I've ever visited and I've I've, I've been around um, I just love it out here so I'm still having a great time uh, this morning I was able to photograph that uh, sow with the two cubs again uh, she's been my favorite one to photograph I've seen more females with cubs new cubs this year than I have in any years past and Usually they're really skittish, the females with the cubs out here. But uh, this year, I mean, there's some tolerant females out here. That one this morning and last night and my first day here, uh, she just, she'll come right in front of me and she'll just pop, plop down and nurse her cubs right there in front of me. And they'll play and uh, it's just fun. I haven't really had a female like that out here before that'll do that. So it's been a lot of fun. And uh, the cool thing this morning was she was actually playing with the cubs. I don't see a lot of female bears actually play with the cubs and instigate playing with the cubs and whatnot. Usually they just kind of tolerate the playing between siblings. But this female is funny because one of her cubs is trying to sleep and she kept hitting it because she wanted it to play with her and the other cubs. So it's just kind of fun. But uh, yeah, it's been a great trip so far. The sun's starting to set. And uh, there's really nothing moving around tonight that I was able to find. I went out by the river, out on the tundra, not a whole lot moving. So I'm just going to relax here and watch the sunset and just soak it all in. I love being out here and yeah, I just want to soak in as much as I can this trip.